Hey, it's Sean at Form Studios, and today I want to talk about an amazing new technology called a radiance field. We're talking about how to capture, process, and how to use a radiance field on your virtual production shoot. So there's this great new technology out called a radiance field. You get the time and cost savings of a plate, but you have all the control of using Unreal Engine and camera tracking, so your perspective and focal length is always correct. Many of our clients want a photorealistic environment. A lot of times it's really hard to replicate just using Unreal Engine. Using a radiance field, we can go into that real world location, capture those details, preserve all those reflections, and then bring that back into our studio for your virtual production shoot. A great example of using a radiance field is when we do the shoot in a brewery. Instead of having to go in that brewery and shut down for three days or shoot late nights with a crew, we can quickly go into that environment spend a few minutes capturing it, then bring it back to our studio where we have full control over power, sound, lighting, without having to disrupt that business. There are different ways to capture and process your radiance field. We use a great service called Luma AI. To capture an environment, they have a guided process within their app. We find you get a little bit better results if you use a stock camera app on your phone, set to your wide angle video, capture the environment, and then upload it through their app itself. We get best results though using a cinema camera on a gimbal. If you do use a gimbal, make sure it's set to tilt lock. That way your horizon stays level and also helps reduce any kind of jitter or motion blur. For the capture itself, I start with what I call a rough scan or your convergence point. I find an invisible point in the middle of the room and I do a 360 orbit around that point. Typically I do that from three different vantage points. For the first orbit, we have the camera eye level shooting straight forward. For a second orbit, we're gonna take the camera higher shooting at a down angle. For a third orbit, we have the camera lower shooting up. Once we have our rough capture of the environment, we'll then kind of focus on our point of interest. So in our brewery, the bar was our main point of interest. So first we started out doing a wrap around the whole entire bar, again, from three different perspectives. Then we kind of popped in and got details of all the stuff around the bar. So our first detail shot was around the left side of the bar, again, from three perspectives. And then we went to the right side of the bar from three perspectives, and then really focused on the middle of the bar where we had all that glass and all that reflection. So making sure we capture that from as many angles as possible. The reason we shoot from multiple perspectives is to collect more data to feed into Luma AI. So once you've captured your environment, just take your video file and upload it through Luma AI's web portal. And then it takes about 30 minutes to train and process your radiance field. Once your radiance field is processed, just download your file along with their plugin, which allows you to drop your radiance field directly into Unreal Engine, giving you a baked version and a dynamic version. The baked version, of course, has all your lighting baked into the radiance field. And the dynamic version allows you to add a skylight or virtual lights, which then will affect your virtual scene. Now that we have our radiance field loaded into Unreal Engine, we can add our virtual stage and our camera tracking and be ready to shoot. One great thing about radiance fields is the technology is progressing quickly. So if you take your raw video capture and re-upload that to Luma AI's website, in six months to a year from now, you'll keep getting better and better results. If you have any questions about Luma AI, or if you want to try out Captioning Radiance Field, check out Luma AI's website. If you have any questions about Radiance Fields and virtual production, feel free to reach out to me at book at formstudios.com.